and welcome back to Daimler Motorsports. We are back with a bang. We've been doing reviews with different cars. We've done luxury, we've done sports cars, your know, builds and everything. But this time we're back with a bang. We're starting with some pocket rockets. Think German, think two liter, think front wheel drive. Must be the GTI. So we've reviewed so many beasts on this channel. Now this time we're coming with some bunnies. So the Golf GTI was introduced in 1975. So it's been like 43 years. But this time we're doing the Mark 5s. Why the Mark 5s? Uh, I think these are the most common GTIs we have in Kenya. GTI. These are probably the most famous and most evocative three letters in VW motoring. The Volkswagen GTI, which is a high-performance version of the iconic VW hatchback, first debuted back in 1976, and since then, it has improved with each successive generation, earning praise from automotive enthusiasts and automotive critics alike. With its combination of playful performance and hatchback versatility, ever since the first car's launch, the GTI has held a high esteem in the hot hatch sector. The sport compact market, however, owes a lot to the Volkswagen Golf GTI, originally introduced in mid-2006 following Volkswagen's successful 20th anniversary. The automotive world tends to throw out acronyms left, right and center, leaving those who purchase the cars, rather than the engineers of the vehicles, a little confused. However, you may be wondering, what does the GTI acronym stand for in Volkswagen Golf GTI? It originates from the Italian Gran Turismo in Ezion, meaning Grand Touring Injection. Across the board, GTI means high performance, and the Mark V GTI has no exception. Although the entire Volkswagen Golf lineup has a lot to offer the modern driver, the Golf GTI stands apart from the crowd in more ways than one. Under the hood sits a 2 litre turbocharged inline 4 cylinder with aluminium alloy forged cylinder heads and a cast iron cylinder block that right there has been the VW staple for years. The 16 valve turbo churns out a whopping 200 horsepower at 5100 rpm, 207 pound feet of torque from 1800 rpm up to 5000 rpm with a 6500 rpm redline. All that boosted power gets you from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 6 seconds flat and a quarter mile of 14.5 seconds at 150 km per hour, putting down all the power it's got. Its 197 brake horsepower peak is enough to make it brisk, but not too much to overwhelm the front axle. So remember the acronyms? Here's another three letters for you. DSG. Another engineering terminology? Not so. The direct shift gearbox makes it an automatic that really isn't an automatic because it's got two clutches. One clutch holding the current gear being driven while the second clutch pre-selects the next gear, meaning super quick shifting and makes for instantaneous perfect and accurate gear changes up and down the gearbox. Just perfect for the GTI's strong turbocharged engine. The power is smooth and strong, not jerky and hesitant, and if automatic isn't your style, a sleek short shifting 6-speed manual gearbox is available for you to row yourself. The car fuel economy numbers barely change between the manual and DSG boxes. The manual will net 9 to 12 km per litre in city or highway driving, while the auto pulls a slightly better 10 to 12 km per litre. Not too bad for the 2-litre turbocharged engine. However, the car despite its great attributes has a few flaws. Not to say that it's a disaster, but as with any great engine, some few things escaped the eye of the German automaker. The base price isn't cheap, pushing the GTI above most of its key rivals, 
The front seat, while supportive, might prove too narrow for some and has a slightly loftier driving position than its predecessors. These are just by the very few cocks of the vehicle to say the least. Some GTIs have been tuned to incredible levels and with aftermarket parts available, nothing is impossible. In the end, the Golf GTI is a strong all-round performer. It's quick, it's comfortable, it's roomy and it handles like a proper sports car. Whether you prefer to work one clutch for yourself or let the transmission work two of them, the Golf GTI Mach 5 is a solid bang for proposition. So the Mach 5s came in three variations straight from the company. We had the Edition 30, the Pirelli and the normal base model GTI. These cars came with 197 horsepower stock but the two special editions came with around 30 extra horsepower for you. These cars can handle like a dream, they are fast, they are nice to drive. So let's hop into this interview. Before we see our guest, we have two GTIs here. Can you tell the difference? Probably not, but this one has a sunroof. Okay, that's not all. But this is a special edition. This is an ABT. <laughs> ABT is a tuning company based in Germany known as ABT Sportsline which made this uh, GTI, they took a GTI, they did some tuning on it. So this is an ABT it's a special edition, comes with around 200 plus horsepower, I can't give you exact figures but this is a normal base model. But this is what we're going to focus on today, we'll do this a bit later. So my guest here today is a fellow Stratizen, fellow MK affiliate member, fellow boy child, what's up Edwin? Hey Sam, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Uko Yeah, I'm good. Tell us, uh, when did you get this car? Um, I got my car sometime early this year, I think around April. April. And so far it's been a wonderful car. I've had many memories in it. It's a very... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you won't cut that out. We're not cutting, yes. So, uh, it's a very good car. It's an all-round perfect car. Oh, I'm nice. Getting... How's the economy? Cause... Okay, now when you talk about economy, uh. Personally, guys don't believe me when I tell them, but I can get 15 kilometers per litre out of this. Uh, a full tank of fuel can give me 400 plus kilometers, which a city driving can give me one month's driving. Uh. And you know, most people, you tell them a two litre turbo, they'll be like, ah, it's very inefficient, it's not yeah. a good car. But for me, it's a perfect car. Hey, from an evil... Hey, I cannot testify what you're saying now, but let me just accept, hey, this car is really economical. Yes, it is, it is. Yeah, and it's really fun to drive, right? I know you have a uh, kind of slight mods on the exhaust, right? It's got a three inch cutlass downpipe on it so far. Uh -huh. um, I got it that way. I still plan on doing a few more things to it. A few more things? But I will see about that. Okay, okay. So for now it's not highly modified? No, no, it's a, it's a very stock car. My power level is still 197 horsepower. That's what I'd approximate it at. But the way it pulls, that's what makes me happy. It all it, 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 it's all about the pool, right? Yes, all yes. about the pool. Even evil drivers know it's all about the pool. Anyway, so guys, we wanna hop into this car and see how it drives, cause yeah, I need to get my hands on a GTI. Okay, I, I've, dri I've driven one, but this time, where's the key? <laughs> <laughs> let's hop into this. Let's, let's, let's have fun, Edwin, let's have fun. So we're going to do a small boost session with this car. How do you feel this GTI? Are uh, you the first person to actually drive it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, bro. It's an honor. Yeah. So if you want to have fun, uh -huh. you just put it in sport mode. Sport mode. Yeah. So I let it shift for itself. You just let it shift. For you itself. don't have to use your paddles. Uh, or anything. You can use paddles if you want. Mm -hmm. You can override the system. So. This Japanese way. <laughs> So if you're in sport mode, then you just want to shift yourself, just tap the paddle up, but yeah. it only works when you're at speed. Oh. If you're going slow right now, it won't really. Oh. Okay. So, how, how do you like driving it? Paddles or... Uh, 
I don't post much, so most of the time I'm just in squad mode. Hey, squad hey. mode drive. Yeah. That was just chaotic. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun in this car. So how's like the power band between uh, zero to a hundred? Okay, the pool is from zero to a hundred. It's it's sufficient. Yeah. But if you're going above legal speeds, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you'll feel the turbo die out. Oh, at around? Um, okay, don't even say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it keeps. Uh, it just dies out. It pulls slowly. up to legal speeds. Then uh -huh. from there on, you can feel it. Because there's dying actually a out. debate where I see. I think GTIs are better on top end. It will take some time. Oh. For stock GTI that is. Okay. For it to get to top end, yeah. it will take, you'll need a well, long stretch. Compared to the Evo, you know, for the Evo it's like the pool just keeps going on and on mm -hmm. until you reach a certain <laughs> speed. Now for this ones, you might feel the pool more between 1800 RPM to like 4000 RPM. Uh -huh. Then from 4000 upwards, it's nothing. Oh, yeah. It's just noise. Well, it's... it's... You'll feel it yourself. How's the DSG for you? You like the fats? You, you feel the DSG. I want to hear those fats. the car too much uh -huh. but this time I didn't even <laughs> flow it <laughs> yeah it's really it's a lot of fun okay let me try use the paddles now eh? okay so choose the paddle that's what you do yeah. this thing has some nice low end torque yes it does yeah, no. then it's comfortable bro for yeah for yeah. Germans Germans are really solid and like sublime you know there's no rattling sounds okay let me tell you a problem with us gdm drivers there's a lot of problems. rattling inside <laughs> the engine the... Oh, the did you hear the thoughts yeah <laughs> no my only problem is a sport for us Because of the fats, but yeah. I've never gotten to drive one like properly, properly. Uh -huh. especially because, like, I don't like asking for people's key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I respect people's cars, you know. If you'd feel good to me now, uh -huh. just turn off traction, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so now let this car pass, then just I just fly, just right? hammer it. Again, yeah. yo, this is hella fun, man. Like, <laughs> I miss the front wheel goodness. Well, front wheel cars are really bad because of understeering and all, but if you can have so much fun like this, why not? Like, by the way, the GTI is good for a front wheel drive. I think the, the stability in this car is way too good. Someone said hi. Jetta, Jetta GT. Yeah. Technically a GTI, yeah. yeah it is. Well, front wheel cars are just there are a lot understeer, of, but yeah. the Golf GTI is not that. It hard. handles perfectly. Yeah. It's a very good car. Whoa. So I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Bro! <laughs> that was short but short and sweet. <laughs> DJ played a song on the beat. What did he dance to the beat? Anyway, guys. The GTI is an amazing car. Like I really love this car. I've always wanted to drive one so like like have fun with it. And Edwin, 
It was a pleasure. No I know this is the first time you give someone your car. Yeah, I was a bit nervous, but you seem to know what you're doing. So yeah, bro, I drive an you evil. Drive an evil. <laughs> I drive an evil. Yeah. I'll take you sideways once. Okay, uh, we're not supposed to say these things. Eh? Sideways. Yeah, sideways means uh, you just turn. Yeah, turn. That's all. <laughs> anyway, yo, this car is amazing. The GTI on stock is really a fun car to drive. You guys should get one for yourself if you're looking for a nice hot hatch that you have fun with. You know like legal speed you know <laughs> and it's really comfortable has nice features the interior is really nice i love the um, it's not it's not cheap the plastic. plastics are not cheap yeah they are, they, they, are, they are plastics but it's better nice. than jdm that's what i can say not all but okay it's a debate for another day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yo this car is really nice you guys will love it if you want to get a gti get yourself one right now we're gonna do the mark 6 later but this is the mark 5 for you this guy is uh it's a uh, it's which year again uh, mine is a uh, 2008 the 2008 car feels like a 2010 toyota it's taking good care of bro anyway this guy is clean yeah, it is. but yo <laughs> it's an amazing car it's an amazing car you guys i love this let me just get out of here before i do some more wheel spin. <laughs> We're back at the Daimler Motorsports headquarters. That is right here in Kinda Roma Road at the Motorsports Kenya Car Wash. That was a really nice boost session, right? It was amazing. Amazing, right? So guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I know you enjoyed this video. More coming up soon. Make sure you check us out on Instagram at motorsports underscore Kenya. Make sure to check us on Facebook at Daimler Motorsports. Get the merchandise, get everything. We're right here. Just come and visit us at the Motorsports Kenya Car Wash. See you next time. We're out. Be safe. Drive safe.